okay. So you know what the best thing is? So when you come home from like a like a nine hour day at school and uh, you get to just sit at your computer in a bathrobe with like a half frozen coke, some Chinese food, which by the way, I love Chinese food, so I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. And uh, and you get to sit here and play all your old games and talk to yourself into a mic and people love you for it. And it's just it's just great fun. Uh, so thanks for all your support, guys. 24 May. I feel like it's been forever, and it definitely has not been forever. I probably saved right here. Okay, I have no earthly idea what I was doing. I think I was in the middle of killing an ass load of raiders. So we're gonna... We are gonna go do other quests. Okay, so we haven't checked out Broken Hills, like at all. Um, we haven't checked out Navarro, but that's kind of a, like, a north or end the, like, kind of an end part of the game. But we're gonna, you know what, let's check out Navarro. Let's check out Navarro. Gotta love this car. We haven't built this thing up yet, have we? No. Oh, whoops. Alright, so this place is really, really difficult if we can even get in. Howdy, stranger. Whoa, baby, check out that set of wheels. Ain't seen one of those in years. What can old Chris do for you? Uh, what is this place? This here's my place, Chris's. It's a service station. Ain't you ever seen one of those on old magazines and such? That's what I got here, a service station. Uh, I'm looking for Navarro, is this it? Navarro? Ain't heard that name in ages. Old military base southeast of San Fran. And that's a way south of here. Uh, okay, I'll take a look here, thanks. Well, nice talking with you. Here's some advice, though. Ain't nothing in these parts except wasteland and radiation. Civilization's south of here. I'd be heading that way if I was you. Thanks. Hmm. Somehow I think we're actually in Navarro. Let's talk with Chris again. Alright, have you seen any vertebrates fly through to here? Vertebrates? That's an interesting subject. Now why would you be asking about them here? Alright. <clears throat> So you know about vertebrates. Tell me what you know. I know they fly over here from time to time. They're usually heading south towards San Fran. If you're interested in vertebrates, I'd head there. Okay, I'll head that way. Huh. Well. Let's take a look see here. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. I don't mean to be rude or nothing, but this here's private property. Gonna be poking around somewhere. Don't be doing it here. Done. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. 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 There seems to be a pathway out here. Oh shit, what's happening? Uh, okay, Goris was hit for a lot of damage. He stepped on a mine. Okay, well, I think we found what we were looking for, folks. Let's try not to die. Oh, this is federal property. No admittance without proper authorization. Oh, how high front of the Fallout 2 cover guy? Uh, I have my pass, it was right here. Don't give me any excuses. You need to either show me your pass, or give me the password. I don't know anything about a password. I suggest you leave this installation immediately and do not return here without proper authorization. Do I make myself clear? Yes. 
Yes, you do. Well, actually, more importantly, your plasma rifle makes you even more clear. We're not going to touch the front of this base. We're going to look for a way in, though. I imagine it's not as clear-cut as that, so let's take a look. Chris here is obviously a fraud. A total, total fraud. And I don't like frauds um, by any nature of the term. And he seems to be staying in our way. So, uh, Chris is not long for this world. <laughs> yeah! Like a man who fights back. Alright, Chris is dead. I didn't lose any car before, so Chris wasn't an asshole. Or was an asshole. Let's uh let's put some stuff in our trunk. This is a very, very high powered facility. I imagine we're going to be getting some high powered loot out of it. Or a lot of loading. Probably both of those to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. Okay. Let's save under a new one, because we're going to do a little bit of infiltration here. Clearly this must be a secret entrance in, because Chris was obviously supposed to act as a front for this place, and uh... Okay, it was locked and open for me. Um, he was clearly obviously a front for this place, which means that he must have a secret way in. That looks awfully secret to me. Most, uh, shack basements don't really have this area. Whoa, multiple intruders, sound the alarm. Okay. Ow. Ow. Well, uh, that didn't work out well. Alright, so let's hop in here. Take us some drugs. And kind of go about this a little more tactically than just like walking through like, hey everybody, they clearly have a good security system. But I have a death clock. That actually has to hurt. Tell me your name so I can contact your next of kin. Man, I, I really don't think there's a worse insult for Chorus right now. Okay. Um, let's walk in here. Wait, I could probably hit him right out here, can't I? Nope, I can't. I just can't, guys. So I'm going to put one through his eyes. Oh! Nope. That was a miss, not a just deflecting completely off of him. Ow! Oh, he broke his leg! Cassidy was killed. 109 damage. Okay, so this is... Huh, this is not going to be very easy, is it? You know, seeing as I don't actually have to unlock this door, I really pretty much think that means that Chris was holding it closed with the force of his telekinetic mind. I mean, it seems that way to me, at least. Maybe we find some other way to get in through here. Maybe that's how that happens. Yeah, you know what? You know what? You know what? Let's just not even not even mess with it. Let's not kill Chris. He might be he might be our way in. We do know, however, that this is Navarro and that this is a high powered base and they are extremely well well armed. Ain't no raiders out this way. Stop blowing yourself up, please. Just look around. Get out of here. Shut up. I don't care. He did say, however, that San Fran is to the south. Yeah, 
Okay. <clears throat> Hostile contact confirmed, says the band of mercenaries. Why did they think we were hostile contact? Whoa, I've actually never seen this, like, ocean side thing. Well, I pulled up my ranger's badge. Probably very, uh, cool-like. And yes, now I'm hostile. <laughs> I like the nice little formation that they've made here. gun that was. I'm beginning to think that Solok likes to really sweep enemies into one pile with his, uh, with his hammer. And I like it because it's neat. Not be doing too good. You know, honestly, he's holding up way better than I thought he would. 80 out of 80. He looks dead. 80 out of 80. 41 out of 80. I could probably kill her this turn. 64 out of 80. And 80 out of 80. Ripper's doing way, 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 way too much damage. Huh. Okay. Nice! Well, it's not doing very much damage anymore. I <laughs> did one more, one more damage than she had. There we go. I'll also probably live. Does she have? 63 out of 80, huh? Alright. I don't really want to use any more chems than I have to, because I'll probably regenerate some of them in the wasteland. Man, Goris, you just rape stuff, don't you? All right, so all of them died in a nice pile around us. Goris tore shit up. Everyone's happy. Okay, so that's an energy weapon. That's an energy grenade. Wow, God, all they brought us grenades and they didn't even use them. I mean, that's a lot of, of, of grenades. <laughs> now let's go pop it right in the back of our car. Let's not even throw it on them. 12 grenades. Have fun. And we, yeah, we, we did energy weapons, not big guns in this game. In my Fallout 1 Let's Play, we did big guns. And that served us well all the way to the very end. Um, but uh, things became a bit cumbersome. It's a, a Needler pistol. <clears throat> yeah, that's what was making that kind of noise that wasn't the energy pistol. Stop bitching, Cassie. 